you're looking up. Two suns, one orange, one deep red, are setting over a sweeping horizon. This isn't CGI. This isn't Hollywood. This is Kepler-16b, the definitive real-life Tatooine. But forget the desert speeder bikes and the heroic destiny. We're not here to watch a beautiful sunset. We're here to ask the ultimate what-if. What if you were instantly exposed to this world? We're dropping you, unprotected, into the upper atmosphere of this circumbinary gas giant. Your challenge? Survive five seconds. Spoiler alert, you won't even get the chance to regret your decision. Or send a really annoyed tweet about the temperature. Before you even hit the atmosphere, you have a major problem. That iconic dual sunset is brought to you by a cosmic power couple. Kepler-16a, a standard orange-yellow K dwarf. And Kepler-16b, a small deep red M dwarf. They are locked in a tight 41-day dance cycle around each other. These stars aren't the calm Goldilocks star we call our sun. They are both classified as active stars. M dwarfs are infamous for throwing cosmic tantrums known as super flares. These stellar eruptions can be 10 times more potent than anything our sun produces, generating lethal bursts of extreme ultraviolet, XUV, and X-ray radiation. This high energy flux is so intense, it can literally strip the atmosphere off a planet. For an unprotected human traveler, this radiation means only one thing, incinerated. Your body's cells, molecules, and biological integrity would be instantly saturated with a lethal dose. You are fundamentally compromised before you even start falling. That's the unseen first layer of death. Think of it as the universe skipping the line for your demise. Okay, let's assume for a moment you had a hyper-advanced shielding system that neutralized the radiation. Now you face the physical environment. First, let's talk about the planet itself. Kepler-16b is a gas giant, similar in size to Saturn. It's massive over 100 times the mass of Earth, but its size means it's also relatively diffuse. Because this world is so voluminous, its gravitational acceleration at the upper atmosphere is surprisingly low, measured at about 3.09 meters per second squared. That's roughly 0.31 g's, less than a third of Earth's gravity. You're not compressed, you are in fact experiencing a feeling of weightlessness in the upper atmosphere. This gives you a false sense of security, which is nice of the universe to offer. This close to its relatively dim binary star system, Kepler-16b is frigid. The equilibrium temperature is a devastating 188 Kelvin. That's negative 85 degrees Celsius, or negative 121 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect for freezing leftovers, terrible for life. In the first second of your fall, you experience the triple threat. Lethal radiation, XUV flux, the primary killer. Low gravity free fall, 0.31 Gs. Instantaneous cryogenic shock. The air rushing into your lungs or what's left of them is super chilled, instantly freezing the delicate tissue in your throat and chest. You lose consciousness almost immediately. This is less than one second in. You didn't even have time to scream. Now we enter the low-gravity, high-speed descent phase. Because Kepler-16b is a gas giant, there's no solid surface to land on ever. You're in continuous freefall through a rapidly thickening atmosphere of molecular hydrogen and helium. Thanks to the low gravity, your acceleration is slow. But the atmosphere is getting denser by the millisecond. The deeper you go, the faster the environment tries to crush you. Let's track your speed. T plus one second. You've only fallen about 1.5 meters, but you're already past the point of no return. Your velocity is 3.1 meters per second. T plus 3 seconds. The fall accelerates. You've plunged over 14 meters. Your velocity hits 9.3 meters per second. That's about 21 miles per hour. More critically, this atmosphere plunge triggers lethal barotrauma. The rapidly increasing pressure outside your body is already overwhelming the structure of your internal organs particularly your lungs. They are rupturing under the strain. It's like getting hit by a slow-motion invisible tidal wave. T plus 5 seconds. The clock stops here. What's the final verdict? In these 5 seconds, the gravity has dragged you down over 38 meters into the depths of the atmosphere. You are now traveling at a speed of 15.4 meters per second, or about 34 miles per hour. 
you're likely deep within the first major cloud decks, a layer of swirling hyperchilled ice crystals, potentially frozen ammonia. You are now experiencing extreme cryogenic freezing, barometric compression from the rapidly increasing pressure. The high velocity impact into this rapidly pressurizing gaseous medium, combined with the extreme cold, would cause your internal structures to fail. You wouldn't be flattened, you'd be imploded and frozen simultaneously. A rather unpleasant combo, we must admit. Verdict at T plus 5 seconds, obliterated. Kepler 16b is a spectacular cosmic anomaly. The existence of a world that is stable, warm, shielded, and alone, orbiting a single quiet star like ours. That is the true universal anomaly. Kepler 16b is the ultimate science fiction set piece. Beautiful, dynamic, and utterly lethal. If you enjoyed this cosmic deep dive into an absolute monster of a world, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more journeys to the extreme edges of reality. We only kill fictional test subjects, we promise. And as always, stay curious, stay grounded, and remember, when it comes to planetary systems, choose wisely.